If you think about your LinkedIn profile, it gives you a number of options and number of languages that you are able to specify. If you are interested in a career in a country or in a, a destination that might have a number of different languages, perhaps this is a good time for you to consider what kind of languages you would actually use on your LinkedIn page. If you have more than one language, it makes your CV that bit more accessible to different uh, recruiters and different territories. Also bear in mind that uh, there are differences in terms of the cultural expectations of what people like to see in your CVs and what it is that they are trying to see in terms of your uh, personal profile online. Countries such as UK and perhaps uh, uh, North America will be perhaps more intrusive in terms of their evaluation. So they, they are more likely perhaps to look at your Facebook profile and actually look at the things that you post online on social networks. Whereas in some more reserved countries, such as Germany, you might be less likely to be an interrogated by a HR practitioner who might not be very keen to intrude into your private sphere or what they consider to be a private sphere. However, if you're thinking about a brand and if people are looking at the kind of content you're working for, especially if you already have a job, and a company is uh, looking at the profile that you have, say, on Facebook, and they can see that you are sharing some really negative or perhaps sensitive data about the company's employees or experiences that you have during your work time. This is obviously highly unprofessional. It gives you a very negative impression to the potential employer as well. So if you are thinking about differences in terms of culture, think about the way that you are coming across. Also, if the type of content that people will be expecting from you as well. And the things that you might need to add in addition. So, for example, if you are going to a place where you need a visa, making sure that it is very clear and you are upfront that you are aware of the visa requirements and that you have thought about it and you put actions into place to get your visa sorted, then it's a great bonus for you. And obviously, there are a number of companies that help you to get this but actually showing in your application form that you have already thought about this and you're actually being able to get to the stage where you only need to get approval from the company, that's a great opportunity for you to uh, get your CV stand out from the crowd. Obviously, there are things uh, from the European Union, such as European CV template, that you might want to explore. Different languages will have different requirements. But again, having a really good look at what is expected in the country that you're focusing on and the differences in that case will obviously be useful for you in terms of communicating and your personal brand online as well. So enjoy your searching.